Hello everyone, today in this video I am going to explain static methods for lists and the collections. So it's the subtopic of chapter 20, lists, stacks, queues and the priority queues. So our aim is to use the static utility methods in the collections class for sorting, searching, shuffling lists and the finding the largest and the smallest element in collections. So let's go ahead. Uh, here we may see static methods for lists and the collections. So the collections class contains static methods uh, to perform common operations in a collection and a list. So this is the UML diagram of collections uh, class. Uh, here we have there are uh, many uh, useful static methods for manipulating lists and the collections. So we will consider all of these methods by order. Let's begin. The first methods are uh, sorting methods. So this is the uh, sorry collections that sort method. Uh, let me compile it. So in this collections that sort method, we are sorting uh, all uh, all all elements from this list in ascending order, as we see here. And in the second uh, sort element, we are sorting all of these lists uh, elements in this list in descending order here. Because here we have the collections that uh, reverse order, uh, so it returns us the comparator. So with this comparator, we are sorting our list in descending order here. This is the sorting methods. So uh, let's go ahead. Uh, this is the binary search method. Here we have. The binary search method it, uh, takes here list one and the key. So here we are searching uh, our key in this list, and if we uh, found it, uh, if it found it, it returns as the index of this key, and in vice versa, it returns as the uh, negative uh, integer. So uh, that means that that means uh, this key is not in this list. So it returns as the insertion point. Let me show it. So this is the binary search method. As I said, yeah, here we have uh, the index of element 7 and the element uh, uh, key 3 is not in this list. So this is the binary search method. The next methods are reverse and the shuffle methods. So Reverse and the shuffle methods. Reverse method uh, takes takes the list and uh, prints it in uh, reverse order. Uh, so here we have the uh, list with the elements uh, with the strings yellow, red, green, blue, and it uh, uh, it uh, prints the uh, list in reverse order. And the shuffle shuffle method. Shuffle method uh, takes our lists and uh, uh, randomly reorder our our lists uh, with this new random object as you see here. This is the uh, implementing of shuffle method here. As we see, this is the yellow, red, green, blue, and it prints it as blue, yellow, red, green, and it uh, randomly reorders um, ele uh, elements in this list. So the next methods are copy and end copy methods. So oh, I'm sorry. 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 Here we use a uh, copy method. So the copy method. Uh, here we have the source list and here we have the destination list. We are copying all elements from this source list into the destination uh, list. As you see here, this is the list one and this is the list two. We are taking all uh, elements uh, from this source list and uh, putting into copying into the destination list. And uh, by the way, this list uh, should be in the same size uh, because if they uh, they have the uh, not equal sizes, so uh, we we may have the um, the remaining objects. So as we see here, we have the remaining objects here because their size are not their size are not equal. So this is the copy method. 
you have in copies method so how it works in this method uh, we are taking uh, object uh, our string uh, and copying it in, in terms so uh, we are filling our list in the, with the, these copies this is the number of copies and this is the our object here we have the string uh, this is the city of Adro as we see the, we have n copies of this method this is it so the fill and the max methods fill and max methods uh, so I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Fill method. Uh, it takes uh, here the fill method uh, has the string black and it fills our list with uh, these objects. So it prints out. I'm sorry. It prints us the this list with all of these objects. Uh, it fills our list with this object string black as we see here and this is the max and min methods so uh, collections that max methods uh, it searches from this list the largest element and returns it and min method uh, it uh, searches the uh, smallest element from this list and returns it as we see in these methods in this following output and this is the disjoint method so these joint uh, and the frequency methods, these are the last methods. So here, this joint method checks uh, whether these uh, two uh, lists, uh, if there are no the common elements, it returns as uh, true. Uh, if they have common elements, it returns as false. Because uh, here we are searching the disjoint uh, we are checking whether the two uh, lists with two or collections are disjoint as you see in the first method it returns false and in the second method it returns the true because uh, here we have in collection one in collection two we have the common elements and in collection two and collection three there is no such uh, there are no such common elements so this is a disjoint method and the, the last method is frequency method so frequency method uh, here we are searching the uh, common dis the distinct elements, so it returns us the number of distinct elements in this list. So uh, I hope that this video was very helpful for you. Uh, thanks for your attention. Goodbye.